Boom, boom, Mrs. Kim here. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. All right, so we got a little bit of Ark Knights on tap here. I'm going to go ahead and go through episode one here uh, and show you uh, how I three starred them here. Uh, this is uh, considered low level and um, high level. Uh, i got a couple of high levels on my, but they're not, you know, the, I don't really use them that much. Mostly I'm just going to be using the low and the mid level um, because I really don't have enough, you know, a lot of time to stick some of these out. Uh, you should have two six stars by now if you did the two pools on the front um, banner um, when you opened your account. Uh, those guarantee two six stars. Um, you might have got some more throughout um, uh, and in draws and stuff, but I'm going to be using the basics ones. Um, here's the characters you need to focus on. Um, uh, courier. You definitely want to make sure you max him out. Um, Fang, you want to make sure uh, max out. And Amiya, you want to, sh want to make sure to max her out as well um, those are three that you will be um, that you will get and um, they are good uh, at the beginning of the game you'll need them um, Shaw is uh, situational he pushes stuff into uh, holes and things like that which is what he's used for you'll see him being used a little bit uh, later um, uh, Melanta, Melanta if you've got her you should be getting her and Beagle fairly easy um, I've got them multiple times uh, Melanta's already maxed out uh, um, I've already got her fully, um, uh, fully promo uh, promoted up, not promoted up, but uh, uh, I guess you call it what a awakening type uh, setup. I've got her uh, and Beagle. I've got several multiples of them, so I didn't have any trouble with them. Um, uh, Ansel, uh, you know, these you're going to have different characters uh, in that regard, but Courier, Fang, Amia. Um, you should have them as well, uh, and Melanton and Beagle are three stars. You should have those right now if you're doing your, you know, your pools daily and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and start out here. All right, the first, the first one's pretty easy. I mean, you, you just, you know, start out with um, when it, when it first comes up, I always pause the screen to see where they're going to do. So drop down a defender in the main lane there to hold everybody back. Throw down some. Uh, Throw down some uh, supporter, caster on the corner. Put another um, blocker on the second lane there to block them from throwing a Mia, which is another caster. Um, and then just start, you know, this, what we're doing is we're boxing everybody into the center. Uh, I just threw down a healer there. You want to throw down your healer in that corner. Make sure you target a uh, uh, courier and Melanta there in the center so that they're getting healed. You don't really need to worry about a Mia. She's elevated and there's nothing, uh, no throwers in this one. Uh, that does any that does damage that's worth uh, worth talking about. They get nailed down before they have a chance to do any serious damage. Uh, put another healer down behind my one healer just to force the thrower to start tackling that one. And w as you can see, we're just keeping them boxed. Uh, it, you might want to start throwing down a defender uh, behind Courier and one behind Melantha just in case anything gets through. That's what I did there. Was I just down, threw down two more blockers. Um, they they really ended up not being used though, because um, nothing broke through. But I, I just did it because I'm paranoid. So, okay, so that's it. Pretty simple. Okay, one two. Um, this is a zero. You you just uh, you have to use the the characters on that. So it's pretty easy to get through. Um, one three. Okay, again, standard, um, standard, you know, filter. Get them down through two lanes. So throw, uh, throw a blocker up in the top. Another blocker, courier down at the bottom. And then you want to start throwing um, casters uh, on the corners to to help, you know, knock them down. It's a standard theme throughout the game. Always when you put down a defender or a blocker, it's best to have some type of casting support to assist okay throw down uh, throw down another uh, you know a mia for help on courier put another blocker behind courier um as they're going to you know to to prevent possibly getting through behind courier 
I didn't worry about the blocker I had up at the top. That's so smart. She's a she's a high level defender, so I didn't really worry about her getting uh, overrunning her. And then I stuck a defender on the corner just to help her out. And there's different ways you can do it, but it's really not that simple. Basically, just throw down. When you throw down a defender, throw down a caster to support them. And uh, you usually burn down things pretty quick. You definitely want to do, focus on courier because if you're doing the game and doing the credit uh, like you're supposed to, from your, your, you'll be able to get a full max. You'll be able to fully max him out uh, uh, because um, you'll be getting you'll be getting all of his. Um, you'll be getting four or five of him guaranteed from the credit shop. Same with Gravius too. A Gavias too, not Gravius, Gavias. So I'll show you. I'll show you. I haven't focused on her yet because she's a healer. All right, this is basically just a three, uh, three straight levels. It's pretty easy. Just put down three defenders. Uh, I threw down Melanta first. And then throw down some support to assist. Courier, another defender comes out. Beagle, another. You know, all these are low-level defenders that you should have by now. Uh, Amia for more support. Then you want to throw down some healing. My healer right there does all three levels in front of her, which is why I used her. So she can protect all those defenders at once. You might have to throw down two, one on each side to get the third person to get Beagle. But Beagle's got a shield. Um, so it might not really be necessary to actually, if you keep uh, putting up her shield, it might not even be actually necessary to put a healer for her. Okay. So just, you know, keep, keep knocking them down. Let's see. Simple. Remember, defender, caster go together and in healings if needed okay one five now you're going to need four melee operators for this one so make sure you load up on your melee for this one because it's got four lanes. So you're gonna need four blocker melees um, to handle this. So courier and then throw down a caster just like before. Another blocker. Some healing. I put down the healing first, and then I put another blocker up at the top, and another blocker at the bottom. Now those are two of my uh, two of my high level characters. Uh, at the time when I did this, they weren't high level. At the time that I did this, they were like one level one, because <laughs> I didn't start leveling them up pretty. Th I think it was just one, four, five. They might have been like ten, maybe ten. I think I might have taken them up to level ten. Um, was all, and I still hadn't even leveled up their skills or anything. Um, and remember, I threw down two casters at the back side because we got flyers in there. Um, so you want to make sure that you have at least one or two of your casters targets arrow units first. Now, I, I've got up there in a the corner, I've got platinum. She's targets uh, aerial units first. Um, and I have her out there. So make sure that you have at least one character doing that because... Um, Amia won't necessarily target it first. She'll target whatever. So, for instance... Um, Platinum will literally switch from a ground unit to a aerial unit if an aerial unit comes within her range while she's attacking a melee unit. She'll switch. Amia won't. Amia will wait until she burns that down, uh, that ground unit down before she switches. And unfortunately, that it might give enough time for the aerial unit to slip through the cracks. So try to make sure that you have at least one of your casters will uh, focus on aerial units. If you don't have one, you are given one. Um, at the beginning of the game, he's a level two. It's it's one of the ones that you first get. Uh, I can't remember his name. Uh, it's the one that looks like a lizard type. Um, was it? I 
think he's like F19 or something, F12 something. I can't remember what his name is. Um, but you, uh, same level. So that you can use on him um, uh, to tour level. Um, one six. Now this is the first level where you actually move. Um, you can put down a block, and as you see, you throw that, uh, throw a throw a blocker up first, and throw down the block to block that, so they can't come in from that way. That's going to force that's going to force everybody to come in out this back red hold up around to the center, and then basically you just want to put all your stuff right here in this circle right here. Put defenders on these three blocks, you know, casters. Just throw you know, throw some damage out there. Um, and just keep, you know, keep them at bay. It's a really small area that you got to focus on. Line up your defenders there in those three slots from the, from the blue, um, entrance out. Cause, uh, as the units start to pile up there in the center, they're going to break through. Um, and you want to have, make sure you have, cause you know, blockers really only block a certain amount, uh, a certain number of units before it, you know, after it reaches its max, the other unit just walks right through it. Um, and so you need to have a unit behind it to pick them up. Now I'm doing some, I've got a melee characters here. And the top two are melee. And the bottom two, one melee and one healer. And now as you can see, I've got three defenders lined up in the center, out coming out from the blue entrance. So that uh, no matter, even if... Uh, the first one gets overrun, the second one will pick it up. Even if the second one gets overrun, I'll have a third one to pick it up. But they're not going to get that far because I've got three casters all around them, nailing them with, uh, with AOE spells. So you don't really have to worry about them getting up too much. I threw down another defender just because I had one extra. I had a bunch of mana, or a bunch of combat points left, and it was one of those big heavy dudes. So I just threw out uh, one, one attacker to focus on it. Now remember, if you're peep it's, not, it's not a problem if, if any of yours die. You can lose all your team but one person as long as nobody gets through, nobody gets into one of the blue doors on your side. That's the only thing you need to prevent. You'll three-star otherwise. So it's all right to lose a defender or take one out and, and substitute, which you'll see happening in the future. As it, as it gets harder, you need to do that. So 1-7. Um, what is this one? 1-7. Not sure. I remember this one here. They all start to merge together as time goes on. Oh yeah, this is one of the one with the stun generator. It's pretty basic. Just throw 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 defenders on opposite sides. You know, throw courier out there. Um, throw Hoshi out there. Um, this is pretty much basic. Caster. I throw out platinum. Back it up, courier, um, because courier's uh, lower level, uh, and then backing up Hoshi, just to make sure, you know, just to make sure, because when they bunch up like that, they can slip through, so I always like to keep that. We got the stun generator, so we'll be able to use that to hold down people if we need to. And then here comes a mass of uh, things, but with all the casters, um, we've got casters out there now. So, okay, so I've got healer on the corner. And then on the top, I've got platinum, and then I've got another healer back there. Um, and the reason I put a healer back there was because there were some uh, th thrown cocktails, Molotov cocktails at, at my um, at platinum, so I put some healing back there to help her out. And that's it. If you're going through these two tutorial levels, they explain they explain about the defender caster support. Um, if you follow what they said in the tutorials and just utilize those, um, you'll, you'll begin to see that, that they're very, very, um, very, uh, helpful into how you can determine to do this. And you can always practice a level before you actually do it. If you don't want to waste the stamina or the combat or, you know, your sanity, you can just test it first. Okay. So we got another stun generator put down, um, Put down a blocker. 
caster to support. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Caster to support. Now then we got the, the this one's got the, the first uh, boss in here. Um, you have to have two, you have to have two people on the top side. Two, you must have two defenders because he will, that, 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 um, the leader which, which we just took out, he will phase through the first one and move on. So if you don't have a second one, he'll literally phase right through your blocker and it, he'll do it two times before he actually walks through that top door and you'll lose the level. So make sure you put two on the top as quick as you can so when he phases through the first one, he'll be met with the second one. Okay, got standard throughout, got healers, two in the center, healer, and then I got a me at the top center there. She's throwing out things, and then I've got a caster over there supporting Hoshi on up to keeping them, keeping them down. Um, as soon as these two die, Oh, she's a tank. I mean, she won't let anybody bar, but her damage is lacking. She does have, you can do a little fire skill here on her. It's charging. Each day activated it. So and that burns them down a little bit faster because it's fire. But yeah. So that's it. Or one seven. But yeah, that, that one's a, that, that's a hard one because that, that guy will phase through your first blocker. The, the boss will. So you got to make sure you have something there in a second to block to to stop him from doing it. He'll phase through that first one, then reappear. You have another defender right there, and bam, and he'll go to town. He can't do he can't phase twice. He can only phase once. Okay, next one's tutorial one nine. One nine's an operation. You have to use uh, the base ones. So this one's this would uh, this one your your focus is going to be right here. You want to try to stop everybody right there at the two, but that does not happen. Uh, too many come through at too too fast, so you end up having to double layer um, everything up. Thirty on a caster, a me or somebody in that corner down there to to help because those four squares back in behind the two defenders are going to become important. Um, with the sheer amount of units that they throw at you in this time, it's virtually impossible to to uh, to not uh, to not use low-level characters and survive. Um, I'm just using low-level characters because the, this is what everybody should have. So I do. I think I did lose somebody. I think I might have lost Fang. Did I lose somebody? I think I lost somebody on this. Not sure what I lost. I might, I might. Did I lose? I think I might have lost. I thought I lost somebody to a cocktail or something on this one, but I don't. Doesn't seem to be happening. Yeah, I think I lose Fang. Yeah, Fang went down. But it got my lance there to back him up, and Amia there helping to the cast. So that's enough to put him down. I just threw. Ash in the corner there, just in case somebody basically went through. Because, like I say, I'm paranoid. So that's how you do that one. That's a tricky one. Okay, one eleven is an operation. You have to use fixed units. Okay, so last one at one twelve. Now this one has W. Um, she's going to disappear back into her thing right there. Down these stairs, she's going to appear up at the top. Um, and then she's going to walk down the stairs there and peer up down behind you on the bottom. 
So I've got I've got Fang and Melanta down there in the corner. I've got Courier and I got a, a supporter up there. That's a healer. I'm throwing down healing on those two. I'm not going to put anything on the the three ones around the generator. And whenever W appears down there at the bottom, we're going to hit the stun generator to stop her so that she can be killed. She's very powerful, so you need to stun her because she will start. She has AOE. She does massive AOE damage as well as melee damage. And she literally shred through, she literally shred through everything on the back side. So you just need to put some stuff down there to just, you know, there she is right now. Okay, so as you can see, she took down my healer. Um, now she's focusing on Melanta. I hit the stun generator. So um, we're taking her down. Fang is something on there we go we got her so that's that's where she pops up so just make sure that you got uh, that you got some things that you can throw in there as they get down to put them up and that's that's the uh, that's the first level so I'm working on the second level right now I've got most of them done three star there's a couple that I only got two on the first time through so I need to 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 adjust my uh, team levels for that but that's the first one so as you can see they're not too difficult um, like I say, you want to focus on, you definitely want to focus on, um, you know, Amiya, Fang, Courier, um, some type that, that unit that you want to get. If you don't have any unit that focuses solely on um, that, you get Ranger right here. Ranger here focuses, he attacks arrow enemies first. That's what you want. You want to make sure you got that. So if you don't have anybody, he will do it right here. Okay. He's called Ranger. Okay, so you you want to um, you definitely want to start working Courier and you want to start working um, Gaviel right here into your lineup as well too. Okay, she's uh, she's uh, a healer and I'm not using her right now because she costs 16 to be thrown out. Um, but if you need her, she's there. And the reason we do that is because if you're following the game. Every morning you get something from the credit store. And as you use those credits to buy up stuff, you're going to get a bunch of couriers and a bunch of gaviels. Okay? So you'll be able to max them. This is a guaranteed max out to courier. Okay? So, you know, you definitely want to, you definitely want to use him. So as you know, as you get the, as you get the new ones, you know, you just put them on, you just pop them, and you'll be able to raise um, raise his uh, potential. All the way up to max and the same with gabielle so that's a guaranteed max so you definitely want to focus on it's a four star i mean he's not bad he's actually a good character um you know he only costs 10. can't beat that um that's the bad thing about some of these like hoshi um is 19. um silver ash is 20. Well, he was 18, but because uh, he was the first one, I, I, you had to make elite because you need to make one elite to get one of the quests. So I made him elite. Um, back, he wasn't elite back at the time when I was in I just deleted him this morning, actually. Um, you know, costs a lot, but the good thing, you know, look at Fang. Fang's only eight. You know, Courier 10. Um, Ami is a little expensive at 18. Um, I like my platinum really much because she's only 10 and she attacks aerial enemies first. So I was really unfortunate. So if you do have platinum, you definitely want to focus on getting her up as well too. Um, Melanta's excellent. Uh, does a ton of damage, uh, and I, you know I've got her fully. She's fully. Um, I've got her potential. She's fully maxed at six. And I've also got. Um, so you want to. You, you don't want to. You don't want to get rid of your low-level characters because you can get them point. And I've got Ansel. Ansel's a pretty good healer. Um, you know. Got him fully. He's fully uh, potentialed up as well too, at six. So it just based it bases on what you get because in a lot of the recruits that you should be doing every day, you should be pulling at least two of these a day. Um, you're gonna you, you're gonna get doubles for them. So you know and you, you know so you definitely want to focus on those uh, on on what you know use what you get. The game's, you know, the game's going to give you characters, but you know, yeah, as you can use your nice ones, but it, you won't, you won't be able to start really f using them that much. Um, 
you know, I used them a couple times. I used my Ash and my Hoshi on the on a couple of times in the first, but uh, I'll start to use them more in the second because you start to get more combat points, and then you can start utilizing some of the higher cost characters. But the key to look for is, you know, three, four, five stars and low cost. Cost is very important because you you need at least three or four low level blockers to get you know so that you can get them out fast you know early in the game and that's why they give them to you so yeah so that's how you do it so it's a it's a good game i mean it, it takes a little it takes a little strategy and and and, and every level um this is episode, if you look at if you look at the levels um you can practice it only uses one battle plan okay so um just focus on that and you'll be able to to get through uh second thing we need to focus on is supplies always want to run tactical drill this is for your xp cards you should be able to at least get to level two three stars so you can auto it um second thing you want to focus on is aerial threat aerial threat's a little bit more difficult than um than to think, but it's still good. Um, these are the hard ones. You w you definitely want to do um, fierce attack. At least level one on these and auto run them because to go to elite you need to get the chips that are in here. So this is very important. And and uh, I'll, I'll, you know there are videos out there on how to beat those. So you might want to focus on getting those too, especially those chips because uh, to take a character to elite you need chips. Uh, and in one of the quests that you have, the last quest in the pinup tab mission, uh, which is gone, it runs through, it cleared so two times. The last quest to finish the pinup tab, new new uh, game, you know, new event that they came out that they had out, um, is to make one level, you know, make one character elite. So you, you're going to need chips to do that. So you won't be able to finish the pinup tab until a pinup tab mission until you do make one elite. On your base, you know, just focus on getting your command uh, control center up to three. Make sure you go in and clear everything out. You know, I keep producing a bunch of gold. Just keep churning out the gold. Um, make sure that you go, make sure that your reception room is all. I see, as you can see, I've got some people visiting me. Because um, you do want to do your clues. Um, this is what you get credit for. As you search for clues and find clues, you will get credit points, which you then use in the credit things, and that's what you use to get uh, Courier and uh, Gabrielle up to high high level. Um, to get them, you have to spend the credit points, but you'll get it each morning. You'll get like you know 40 or 40 or so, 60 or so credit points, and then you just spend them, and that's how you get it. So, factory always produce, always keep producing stuff. I'm just, I just continually keep pushing out battle records for right now so that's my current setup this is what you should try to do is every morning when you log on um, switch out everybody that's because as as you got as you got the operators in these each of these um, levels here like in the trading post factory and power plant they're losing uh, trust they, their trust goes down as you know their sanity decreases as they're being as they're working in here okay so by the next day they're low so you need to put them in back in the dorm so you put them in the dorm and then you put new workers in here and you just rotate them around and rotate them around that's what i've been doing just rotating them in and out so that uh, so that they're uh, you know so that they're you, you want to keep the trust up as much as you can get low trust they, they don't do you know, less damage and things like that. So you just got some trust from my uh, from the dorm. So that's what it is. So that's how so that's how it goes. But yeah, so that's level that's the level one quest. Um, shouldn't have any trouble with those. It's gonna get a little bit trickier too. Um, but uh, I have to go through those and finish those out. So uh, this is Ken Rare again, and thanks a lot for watching this video. Go ahead and put a like on it if you like it. And uh, click on the subscribe button. It's going to be notified every time I drop a video. Okay, so this is Ken Rear, signing out.